Hello, welcome back to Friday Tech Video here at MED. And question came in yesterday, we sold a steel crankshaft, so one of these brand new crankshafts, and we do two options. So we do one with the standard groove on the nose, just like that, and the yes. multi-webs come without. That's right. So Steve, what's the difference? Why, okay. why, what's it needed? Why is the, it needed? The reason we don't have them put in on an engine we build, we build them all without yep. the clip. If you think about it, it's a round piece of bar, crankshaft's turning that way, when you're dropping the clutch at 8,000 RPM, engine's going that way, flywheel then wants to go that way, if, if it's going to break anywhere, it's going to break at where this groove is, yep. because it's like a saw slot halfway through the end of the shaft. So it's a weak point then? It is a weak point. It always has been. There's numerous crankshafts broken there, so yep. we get rid of it. I've seen it on occasion at race meetings where you just have the, the flywheel and, and the nose of the crankshaft just hanging sat, the air. sat on the bench it. where it's snapped off. And the end of the crankshaft is still in the flywheel. Yeah. Yes. And you don't okay. really want that to happen, do no. you? Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying this will totally cure it, but since we've done this, yep. we've had no more crank, crankshafts break. It must be there for a reason. What's, what's the... Uh, Okay. What's the purpose what of the clip? What it's there for is, on a conventional crank, here's a modified one that we uh, cross drill, wedge, bladed, back drill, ground and heat treated. Okay, there's your standard thrust washer, which goes behind the primary gear. So we'll slide the primary gear on. So that's where that would normally sit. Yeah. You then have this, which is the C-clip locating washer, which yep. goes on there and then the C-clip drops into the slot. Now all that assembly there ends up with having end float for okay. the primary gear. Yeah. Because obviously if the primary gear comes out this way or that way, it's, it's not yeah. good. So that all holds it in position. Okay. Now obviously if you do the same on this crankshaft. Without the C-clip. Without the C-clip, you've got nothing there now to retain the, the primary gear. The primary gear. Yeah. So. So how do you do it? How you do it? This is what we were asked yesterday. Okay. So you leave the washer in place, leave the primary gear off, and we supply a bronze pre-machined washer to go on. So you pop the washer on. It's a size fit on here. So it slides up and down. Okay. Next thing you do. This is prior to the engine being assembled. Okay. Put the flywheel on, put your flywheel bolt in, and torque the flywheel up to the specified torque setting. Okay, so you have to hold this in a, in a vise then, I suppose? Ideally in a vise, or you can put the crankshaft in the block and put a, something there to stop it turning to do the locking. Okay, so okay. once you've got the flywheel on there, with the flywheel bolt in, locked up, you push this washer then back against the inside of the flywheel. Okay. You push this washer back against the crankshaft, and then with a pair of calipers, well these are odd leg calipers, you measure the distance. Okay. So does that vary from, from crankshaft to crankshaft? It then? will vary from crankshaft to crankshaft because obviously you've got quite a few dimensions there. You've got the thickness of this washer, you've got the taper, which is a one in 10, so every one thou smaller in diameter, the flywheel will go up the taper 10 thou extra. Okay. So you've got the taper size on the crank, you've got the taper size in the flywheel, and then you've got the dimensional check from the taper to this space. So there's quite a few things. So they do vary. Okay. So basically, you take that dimension there, okay? Let's assume that is two inches. Yep. And let's assume your primary gear is two inches. If you were to put that in place now, you would have no end float. And what would happen? Well, you wouldn't have any clutch. Okay. The clutch would not work. Yep. So, you need to have, on this setup, 10 thou of end float on there. So, once you've got the flywheel torqued up onto the end of the crankshaft, and you do that dimension check, that needs to be 10 thou bigger than that. Got it, so you've got some movement. So basically when you build the engine, you put it all together, you put your primary gear on, put your washer on, don't forget the washer, yep. flywheel on with the clutch assembly, torque it up, you've still got 10 pounds. So how do you, what do you do? Do you machine the... Uh... Literally, you can then 
once you've checked your dimension, you cut the floor will off. If you want to, you can send this back to us, we'll put it in our lathe and just face it off. Okay. You can grind it, you can turn it, you could even mill it if you wanted to. Would you normally do it a couple of times until it's correct or? Obviously, once you know what you're doing, I mean, I do these all the while and I can get them right first time. But I've, I've most probably done, I don't know, 50, 60 of them. So if I'm doing it, three or four times. <laughs> If you tight, if you put the washers on, you do the torque setting, and you do the dimensional check, you should get it right first time. There you go. But if you want to send the washers back to us, yep. we can machine them. Greatest of pleasure. We'll put it back to you in the post. If you don't, it's just a matter of pop it in a three jaw chuck, take off what you need. There you go. So a bit more strength going without the C clip, and that's what you need to do. And we do these crankshafts without the C clip in both multi web and standard conventional four web so Understand. when you order if you want a non-secret one specify on the order we do have both types that's known we've also got some inline multi webs on the way they'll be here at the end of the month so for your sprites midgets morris miners exactly the same as this except they will have the flange on here for the flywheel opposed to the mini taper perfect thanks steve any questions put them in the comments below